The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at dallasgenealogy.org. Okay, my phone says 11 o'clock, so we will go ahead and get started. I want to thank everybody for being at today's meeting. Um, hope we're going to have a great meeting today. The, the subject looks really, really interesting, but let's go through a little bit of um, housekeeping before that. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I want to start off, I guess, with the treasurer's report. Um, this is our, our income and expenditures for the month of October. Um, we had a, a few more expenditures or outgo that we did income because we were paying for the expenses for our fall seminar. Anybody have any questions about our treasurer's report? Okay. If you do have any questions, just go ahead and unmute yourself and be sure to ask. Um, our minutes for, for our October meeting are posted on our website at the same location where you go to um, register for today's meeting. Does anybody have any corrections for the um, minutes for the October meeting? Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and mark those as approved since there are no corrections. We needed to see about getting a quorum for today's meeting, just so we'll have a record of how many we had attendance. And Tony is going to, our meeting host is going to put up a poll for us. So if you could fill that out and indicate whether you are a member or a non-member. And just let us know you're here. And we'll give you a few minutes to to uh, get that results in. Okay, we good, Tony? And there is our results. So we'll have that ready for our secretary to record. We have a, our uh, newsletter committee has a new um, effort they're putting out there wanting to get your family stories. So if you have any unique records or anything that um, is really special to you that you found, you know, in your attic or maybe in the top corner of a closet somewhere, go ahead and if you could transcribe that, if it's like a letter or something written, or if you want to take a picture of it and then write a short a description or explanation about why, you know, why it means so much and send that to our newsletter uh, editors at newsletter at dallasgenealogy.org. We would love to start putting some stories about your special finds in our e-news every, every month or when it comes out during the year. So um, we would encourage you to, to do that and, and let us share those with the rest of the rest of the readers. So if you can do that, that would be great. Also, along those lines, sorry, my computer's not cooperating. We are, our publicity chairman, Sharon Bowles, is really um, working on trying to get our Facebook page ramped up and going. And so we would like to ask you all to help us out with a couple of things. Um, the first thing is, if you could all please go to our Facebook page and just like our page. I have, um, I will fully admit, that Facebook is not my um, social media of, cho of choice. I tend to stick more with this email and things like that. So I, I learned this week that if you will like a page, that means you're also following a page unless you have your settings adjusted otherwise. So if you'll just go on our page and, and hit the thumbs up and like it, that would be great. The other thing is if you're, if you're posting something about genealogy on your page or you're posting about say an event at DGS, if at the end of that post, you could just simply type in the, the, our, our tag, which is at DGS with a small TX, the lowercase TX, that would be great. That kind of tells the Facebook program or robots or whatever that you're kind of linked with the Dallas Genealogical Society and that it will help us up our number of posts on our, or our, our number of, um, or activity on our Facebook page. So if you could do those things, two things for us, that would be just really awesome. 
Another thing, um, the what you'll be getting mostly if you like our Facebook page is you'll be finding out about a lot of the events that we have going on at the here at DGS. So um, if you want to go on our website and check out what our events are, just do like what's on the screen here. Just go to our main dallasgenealogy.org webpage and click on the events tab and you'll be able to pull up a calendar and find out what all is going at the society, which um, there's a lot going on with all our special interest groups and the events at the library. And you'll even find some things that are happening at other societies as well. So be sure and check that out. We want to tell you about our upcoming general meetings for the next few months. Um, in December, we're going to have Paula Perkins speaking to us about orphan train riders and specifically the ones that were coming towards Texas. Um, that ought to be a really a great present presentation. Then in January, Michelle Dwyer Cohen is going to be talking about us about using how we can use the history of um, areas to solve mysteries in our own family trees. In February, Dr. Terry Turner is going to be here and talk about uh, where are my African-American ancestors? And I think he's going to concentrate a lot on marriage records and how to find those um, going back even before um, the Civil War. So that ought to be a great thing to, to um, tune into as well. And then in March, we're going to have Dr. Stephen Butler talking about how DNA rewrote his family's history. And I know um, a lot of my friends who have um, adopted um, ancestors know how DNA can come in and they can just turn everything upside down. So that ought to be a really great presentation as well. For 2022, we have our upcoming seminar scheduled and I wanted to let y'all know about this. these. Um, in spring, we're having Diane Southerd, who is a expert on DNA talking about um, intermediate DNA topics. Our summer seminar is going to be our own Kelvin Myers, and he is going to be talking about how to um, research records specifically in Texas. And for those of you who have done Texas research, you know that Texas research is a little bit different than researching in other states. So that would be a good one to attend. And then in, in the fall, we're going to have Paul Milner, who is an expert on British Isles research, talk to us about researching in the British Isles. So we would encourage you to um, check those out. You can find, you'll be able to find more information as the time gets closer on our website about those seminars. Um, we have a special feature today. We want to start in our meetings, um, giving a few minutes to our SIG leaders. So they can tell you about the different SIGs that are going on. And our SIG leader for today is going to be Ann Boyer talking about the German genealogy group. So Ann, do you want to um, unmute for uh, and give some a few details about the, the German genealogy SIG. Uh, sure. Um, can you let me share my slides? Sure. I can stop sharing and you can share. Just give me a second. There you go. Oops, I lost it. Okay. Um, as Jim mentioned, my name is Ann Breuer, and I'm the, one of the co-leaders for the German Genealogy Group, and my co-leader is Bernard Meisner, as you can see here. My screen is not, there we go. Um, it's open to anyone. You're welcome to uh, listen and come to any of our events. We concentrate on Germans that came to the U.S. for the most part, and we typically meet the second Saturday of every other month from September to May, as you can see here. We've had several meetings where we have uh, recorded what we have talked about. And we have uh, we had a speaker from the General Land Office in Texas regarding the Germans that came into Texas. We had uh, the North Texas chapter of Germans from Russia. And we've also had talks on things like occupations and surnames. Our next meeting is next Saturday. And it's um, November 13th at 1030 in the morning via Zoom. Our speaker is Gary Finkel, and he is from the New York chapter of Palatines to America. And he's going to be giving a presentation on from the Rhine Valley to the Hudson Valley. 
And you can find this information on the DGS website under events, I think it's um, yeah, events, special interest groups, German genealogy group, and that's where the Zoom link will be. Or you can get on our email list by emailing ggg at dowsgenealogy.com and we will send you updates on our, when our presentations are. We hope to have additional topics that are coming um, in the future, which will be things like planning your visit to Germany or locating records in Germany and helping you find places to translate documents or helping you translate. Another thing that we'd like to do in the future is we'd like to hopefully, when the library opens up, we'd like to have workshops on some of the uh, German websites. As you can see here, archan.de, Matricula, and GenWiki are some of the German websites that are not the easiest to use without some help. And hopefully we can have some sessions where we can meet you at the library and start helping you a little bit with your research. We have a Facebook group. It's German Genealogy Group of North Texas. Evidently that F got cut off there somehow, but anyway, <laughs> it's of North Texas. And um, the thing is when you, uh, you can click to join it, but there are a few questions. So please answer the questions because we don't uh, just you know, allow everybody to come in. We kind of want to make sure there are people interested in German genealogy. And the things that we post there are things about upcoming seminars or webinars that you might be interested in, new record sources that have come available, things like that. So please join our Facebook group. And again, our website, if you come and uh, come to one of our presentations, we would love to have you. And you can look at, at the website and see recorded sessions. So you can see some of the sessions that we have recorded in the past. So thank you for listening and um, hopefully we'll see you. Thank you, Ann. Appreciate that. Our speaker for today is going to be Hayden and Barry Sage talking about a uh, house they bought in Dallas and how they discovered the history of it. And I'm going to let Patty Smith do, introduce them for us. This has been a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your fees have been supporting these and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, please consider joining now. Go to dallasgenealogy.org and click on the membership tab.